the value trade got a, a fresh endorsement six weeks ago when we saw this violent rotation and, and banks were a major beneficiary. And as we talked about probably in yesterday's show or two days ago, when essentially you had a two day move in banks that took 5% out of that banking trade and left you back where you were. Well, in the last two days, uh, I think you've taken half of that move back. Uh, when I look at the banks, uh, I do think that there is a valuation argument in favor. Therefore, uh, I think they can be more constructive. There's no denying what Carter's talked about in terms of where uh, the KBW, which is certainly uh, giving you the more pure bank exposure. The XLF, Dan, sometimes talks about not being the pure play, right? Because you've got a lot of Berkshire in there. Yeah. You've got some Blackstone in there. Certainly in the case of Blackstone, you've had an outperformer. Yeah. Um, but, but banks in this environment where yields are going lower are going to come under some pressure, even though the yield curve is actually steepened in the last couple of days from the short end. I would agree with that. I think City on October 15th, I mean, we got, what, where was Carter just now? At the, the, the plasma. The, the, at the smart board. Uh, yeah. He did an amazing job, but we often go there to do something that we like to call the, Tim, please help. Uh, the power pitch. The power pitch, yes. And, and to Tim's point, we actually power pitched a bank a while back saying maybe the bond market has gotten ahead of itself. Maybe at 65 to 70 percent of tangible book city is cheap. But these are trading vehicles, and the move from 62 to 72 was exactly what it should have done. Yes, it bounced today, but I think banks, the trajectory has been lower. I think they continue to go that way. Yeah, that, that was a great power pitch from a trading perspective. Thank no you, Dan. No, the sentiment was bad, and it was back to the level. How do you feel that we've now completely changed the name? You're shaking I'm your I'm very frustrated. Yeah. But, but here, here, here's the thing. You know, we were talking about two weeks ago when J.P. Morgan made a new all-time high. It was probably the only bank in the northern hemisphere that has done that, right, if you think about it. And so, um, But what did it do? It went from 121 to that new high right down to 110 yesterday morning like that you know and so like to me that's just a failed breakout and the rest of the money centers have never made a new like they haven't even made a new high they've just been trending down and then you look at the investment banks you look at Morgan and Goldman they're disasters they I mean they look like they're going to be business, different businesses in the next yep. cycle so you know I mean to me I just think you can buy these all day for capital return and for for value but they're just they, they this look sounds dead to in me the like water. the one